hi um it's me again mary um i'm taking a video instead of doing a live feed because i want to go and share this with john before i share it all with with everybody john being my husband um i've just come out of the rewind technique um with uh, willow tree counseling in darlington and um what can i say it's amazing i i feel you kind of going from one emotion to another at the end of it and it was just at the beginning i didn't realize how much you know this situation that kept coming up and bringing up anxiety in me um and that situation of going to college and going driving into the situation with john and my insecurities and why they were coming up and i knew it was connected with my past until i started talking about it today i didn't realize how much that was still affecting me. Um, hence my eyes being all like the arm of my face. I get very puffy eyed when I've been crying. Um, and it was very deeply emotional. Uh, it was a deep dark sadness inside of the pit of my stomach. And yeah, it did make me cry. Um, yeah, it was. But then we got into it, into the rewind and um, it was amazing. It was amazing getting to the end of it. I won't go into complete detail because I think it's something, unless anybody wants me to, but um, I, I don't want to do a discredit and I think it's starting professionals to kind of explain it. Um, but what it did was it brought me through that and I got to the end and instead of crying tears of sadness, I was crying tears of joy and I felt this darkness inside of me kind of lifted. I don't know if it's going to last forever. I don't know. I, I suppose the test is, you know, I'm going to another situation where that would bring that up normally. But when I actually try to recall the memory of what made me feel crap, the in-between bit, which is what this rewind does for you, kind of blurs it all. Um, yeah, it's that. that's the images I'm getting in my head. I'm not really... I'm not really getting the story of what happened anymore. It is all blurry. So yeah, that was that was amazing, the rewind technique um, with Willow Tree Counselling. So thank you, a huge thank you. One thing I did realise was that peeling that layer of my onion back is, my God, how much more there is there. How much pain I've been carrying and how it can affect my present. And there is a lot to go through. And not, I'm not even talking about my past marriage. There's lots of other things like school, employment, um, childhood. And this isn't to do anybody down at all. It's experiences of life that we all have, we all come across. Um, and what it creates us to do, it creates us to put those layers over, to be able to cope. And I just, I really, I'm realising now, I'm at the beginning of peeling those layers back because I'm in a stronger place now to face all of this. And yes, it's made me feel emotional, it's made me feel vulnerable, and it's made me think thoughts that probably necessarily aren't there, that aren't there. How do I know what other people are thinking? I don't. Um, but that's what drives and creates the anxiety. But I'm learning to trust myself, to trust my own judgment. Like yesterday, coming to Darlington um, to do a work trial, and I was sitting right, going through the town is going to make me a little bit late. And I'm, I actually verbally said to myself, in my head, right, you know there's another way in, because John usually goes that way. Mary, just trust yourself, you'll be fine, you won't get lost, just trust yourself. And then I said it out loud, trust yourself. And I did. And I know it's stupid, because it's only a road into Darlington. But even that was bringing up panic in me. But I did it. So it's small steps, it's absolutely small steps to learn to trust myself. And by doing this and realising actually the reason I'm feeling the way I am is because I've got all those layers and the hide and everything. And I want to bring them out now, I'm ready to look at it all. I'm ready to heal, I'm ready to look after me now. And hopefully this will help all of you to realise that we've all got layers and we just need to feel safe to uncover them. And I'm hoping that I'm helping you to feel that little bit safer. Even just by listening to me going through it. It's helping you to know that you're not alone. You aren't alone. Right. 
I'm going to go now. Um, we have agreed to have more sessions in the future. On top of my normal counselling sessions. I'm ready for this. And I'll keep sharing as much as I can with all of you. So thank you for listening. And watching. Take care all of you. Have a good day. Bye.